and welcome to Cruise Week Tea Break, celebrating National Cruise Week here on the Holiday and Cruise Channel. I'm Richard Cross here every day this week to take half an hour to enjoy some delicious British tea and scones as we find out more about your favourite cruise lines. Today we're not sailing but voyaging with the original White Star Line that is Cunard, world renowned having led the industry as one of the finest brands for over 160 years. To this day, the legendary White Star service continues to maintain the custom of going above and beyond your highest expectations. And to tell us more, I'm joined in the studio by Stephen Taylor from Cunard. Welcome, Stephen. Thank you. Thank you. So can you tell us a bit more about Cunard and what makes you different from other cruise lines? Absolutely. Well, Cunard are the most famous ocean liners in the world, and we're synonymous with luxury and affordable luxury too. So the thing that separates us apart from other cruise lines, if you will, is the sheer volume of history and heritage, as you've already touched upon there. Not just the history and heritage that we have, the hundreds of years that we can call upon, but also the fact that we are the youngest fleet at sea as well. So across the three ships, the collective age makes us the youngest fleet at sea. So where that gives us our edge is anyone cruising on our ships has the experience of the culture, the history and heritage, and you you feel a part of that the moment you step on board but the fact that we are the youngest fleet at sea offers a state-of-the-art facilities whether that be the 3d cinemas the planetariums right through to the fine dining and traditional elements like the afternoon tea which we still have as well sounds great and you mentioned earlier about uh, the life on board mm. and what about the white star service well, Cunard is synonymous with luxury, as I've mentioned, and the White Star service is an extension of that as well. So the reputation that Cunard has uh, in terms of its service and the approach that we have to service is industry leading. And that starts with the White Star Academy. Now, quite simply, the White Star Academy is where we train all our staff for upwards of two years. Now, in during that time, they are trained to overlook absolutely no detail, whether that be the personal greeting that you can expect when you get on board, right through to the white glove service that you have with your evening meal as well. I did hear a fantastic story once from a customer who was uh, cruising with herself when she returned to her cabin. Everything uh, the cabin steward had actually made, uh, cleaned the entire cabin, as you would expect, but a little touch, she'd actually tied the shoelaces of her shoes when she'd come back. So it's just those tiny little de details which go a long, long way. Like you said, White Star service to me is you know traditional British cruising. Absolutely. So can you tell us a bit more about the ships that you've got in the fleet? Absolutely. Well, we've three ships. We have the Queen Victoria, we have the Queen Mary II, and we have the Queen Elizabeth as well. Three ships. Um, in terms of the approach to the ships, the size of the ships range from everything from 90,000 tonnes to the larger ships of about 151,000 tonnes. Nice bright feel to the ships, very airy. Um, and in terms of passengers, we take on average across the three ships about 2,000 passengers across all three. Well, that's great. Now let's get a good taste of life on a Cunard liner and Polly Winder is on board Queen Elizabeth for us. Here we are in front of Cunard's newest luxury liner. This is the Queen Elizabeth and wow, isn't she magnificent? And those who have travelled on her say it's not a cruise, it's a voyage. This is modern glamour. Now join me as she docks at Liverpool for the day and we see what makes her so special. Welcome aboard the Queen Elizabeth and with 2,000 passengers and 1,000 crew, we're set for sail. This is something special, this is very luxurious and this is five star. This is my first time on a five star cruise so I can't wait to see what she's all about. So sit back, relax and join me as we explore the Queen Elizabeth. First time you get to check out the staterooms. Apparently Cunard's accommodation is said to be a cut above the rest. I hope I won't be disappointed. There's more than 1,400 staterooms on board the Queen Elizabeth and this is a Britannia Club balcony with everything you would expect from a stateroom. Air conditioning, flat screen TV, ensuite bathroom. But what sets the Queen Elizabeth staterooms apart from every other cruise liner are the especially designed mattresses, the Cunarda Sealy mattresses. And of course, a pillow menu of nine pillows to choose from to ensure that you have a truly luxurious night's sleep. <music> Thank you. 
On a day like this, I can't think of anything better than relaxing with a good book and enjoying the sunshine on a really good sized balcony. But do you know what? I wouldn't expect anything less of the Queen Elizabeth. Now, Cunard insists that all their staff speak fluent English, and I'll tell you what, it really does make a difference on board. The staff are friendly, efficient, and keen to help. But what about when it comes to the food? Or should I say cuisine? This is a Britannia restaurant where you can enjoy breakfast, lunch and dinner with white table linens and waiter service. In the evening, there's two settings, an early and a late sitting. The restaurant interior is much like the rest of the ship, with an art deco, opulent theme to it. Let's go meet executive head chef Klaus Kramer now as we find out what goes on behind the scenes. So we have 210 is our entire team, which means they're spread out throughout all those uh, galleys. Uh, including uh, is about uh, four chef de cuisines. Each restaurant operates on its own with a chef de cuisine. And then I have my right hand side is the executive sous chef, who is below me but above the chef de cuisines. And he walks around uh, throughout the galleys uh, during the service and the work. So, how many meals are you all preparing a day? Approximately 11,000 meals a day between all restaurants and all meals, and including the crew. The Britannia Club restaurant is exclusive to those guests staying in AA category balcony accommodation. Tempting menus can be savoured at a time of your choice in what's a wonderful intimate dining venue. The Queen Elizabeth really is luxurious and it's definitely five star, but if you want to treat yourself even more, then why not book a Queen's Grill or a Princess Grill suite? With that, you have your own exclusive lounge, your own exclusive restaurant where you can order something, even if it's not on the menu. There's also the option to dine al fresco and there's your own open deck area. This is something extra special. This is one of the many speciality restaurants on board, The Veranda, where you can enjoy a champagne brunch, lunch or dinner. Let's go and see what it has to offer. Oh my goodness, this is an absolutely gorgeous restaurant. It's opulent. I love it in here and the food looks amazing. It's a French restaurant. You can enjoy some fantastic things. Crab meat, duck foie gras, escargot, snails of course. And perhaps for a main, you'd like, like some sea bass, some scallops, some organic beef fillet. Delicious. But if you're after a more informal dining experience, then the Lido restaurant is the perfect destination. Buffet dining is available throughout the day and by evening, it transforms into three regional venues. Perfect if you want a South American grill, exquisite Asian cuisine or some Mexican classics. Up on the bridge, Commodore Rind gives his thoughts on Cunard's latest luxury liner. Queen Elizabeth, like Cunard, reenacts the golden age of ocean travel. We have liners, not cruise ships, make voyages, not cruises, and have guests, not passengers. It's about the traditional values of cruising, and you will have seen in the interior of this ship the wonderful recreation of that golden age of ocean travel. We have a bit more formality, a bit more uh, politeness, if you like, on board, but underscore that with excellent service. And one of those traditions, perhaps, is dining with the Commodore. Is that still a possibility? Absolutely. There is a Commodore's or a captain's table, and uh, we have guests at that. And a formal night on one of these ships is a wonderful event to be part of. And where's one of your favourite voyages taken you with the Queen Elizabeth or with Cunard? Well, this one is around Britain. And, in fact, we have a very international uh, complement of guests on board. Yes, a lot of Brits, but there are people from Germany, the United States, Australia and Canada on board at this time. Commodore Ryan there speaking on the bridge of Queen Elizabeth. And Stephen, he made a good point there about you referring to people as guests, not passengers. Mm. But who is a typical Cunard guest? A typical Cunard guest would typically be somebody who has cruised before, somebody who possibly has a few cruises under the belt and is looking at travelling on the luxury side of the cruise. But to put it bluntly, a Cunard cruise could ap appeal to anybody. All these ships are family friendly, so we offer complimentary kids clubs right throughout the three ships as well. For those new to cruise as well, we offer the short breaks as well, exceptional value. But as I've mentioned, for those customers who have travelled that little bit more with possibly with other cruise lines and you want to experience the Cunard brand, we offer everything from the seven to 
14 night voyages right through to the world sectors and the visiting ports such as Dubai, Hong Kong, Sydney, pretty much everything across the globe. Now, Stephen, I'm actually going on a cruise later on this year with uh, Queen Mary 2 for a couple of nights. Who would that appeal to, a mini cruise? A mini cruise, I think, are fantastic for first time cruises or people new to cruise because it exposes them to the world of cruising and exposes them to the brand, the Cunard brand. So for someone who has never cruised before or possibly someone who has cruised but wants to try that luxury side of cruising, the two, three, four night cruises are absolutely perfect and exceptional value too. Great. Well, we'll be back on board Queen Elizabeth, plus speaking more with Stephen Taylor from Cunard in just a few minutes after we take a quick break. Stay with us. Hello and welcome back to Cruise Week Tea Break. We're celebrating National Cruise Week here on the Holiday and Cruise Channel and it's great to have you with us. Now let me just tell you that if you're new to cruising, then our first time guide to cruise holidays has been designed with you in mind. It answers all the common questions we get asked, questions on visas, luggage allowance, tipping and much more. If you'd like a copy, then just give us a call on 0871 423 4444. Calls will cost 10p a minute from a BT landline and calls from other networks and mobiles for Vave Mary. You can also request a copy through our website at www.holidayandcruisechannel.co.uk. Back to today's tea break and Stephen Taylor from Cunard is still with me. Stephen, earlier we saw Polly on board Queen Elizabeth's Queen's Grill. Mm. Can you tell us a bit more about the concept? Well, the Queen's Grill is unique to Cunard in the fact that for those customers reserving our grills cabins, our grills accommodations, they have unique access to the grills dining. Now, the grills dining is regarded as one of the finest gastronomical experiences you can have at land or at sea. So for those passengers who are booking in the more premium accommodations, this gives them exclusive access to that area. Now, those cabins do book up fast, so you must book early. Right, OK. And Cunard Insights is an enrichment program mm. on board. Can you tell us a bit more about Cunard Insights? The Cunard Insights is an enrichment program again is unique to Cunard and it's just another fantastic opportunity and feature on board our ships so what we do is we invite people on the insights program people respected people from stage and screen respected politicians on board and we hold informal Q&A sessions with them they give them the chance to interview these people we also have a long-standing history with RADA which is the Royal uh, Academy of Dramatic Arts so we don't just put the evening show on um, entertainment as we do obviously but you can also actually speak with the stars during the day you can actually get in involved in the production go backstage it's just another way of interacting with the staff and the customers so it can be really informative for absolutely. the guests whilst they're on board absolutely and we saw Polly sampling some of the cuisine on board can mm -hmm. you tell us about the type of cuisine we can expect and also the dining venues absolutely well dining is the heartbeat of any ship and essentially with Cunard. So the dining, you are able to dine 24 hours a day with Cunard, whether it be from the grills to the Britannia, where you can expect the fine dining in the most exotic surroundings of an evening. We also have the more relaxed informal settings, such as the buffet style areas. You even have things like 24 hour room service, should you wish, so you can order things at two, three o'clock in the morning. And if any of our viewers have got special dietary requirements, mm. can you cater for those? Absolutely, any specific dietary requirements, just let us know at the time of booking, and we'll be more than happy to accommodate you. Now, one of the things people associate with cruises mm. is it's very stuffy, mm. uh, very dark inside and formal. Is that correct? Not at all, not at all. Particularly with our brand, as I've mentioned, we are the youngest fleet at sea, so it is a very mo modern, vibrant brand, of course. In terms of the space and air, there's plenty of space for the cabin, um, for the customers in the cabins, so you have a choice of the insides, the outsides, and the balconies, of course. And it's a very formal and informal, so your customers have a choice. In terms of the dining, you have a formal approach. If they wish the more informal and they want that buffet style, they have that as well. You mentioned they're formal and informal, but what can I expect to wear on board, maybe three throughout the day and in the evening? Well, we have our um, attire um, categorised as three subheadings. So we have formal, which is the more formal evening wear, so that could be a tuxedo or a dark suit. We have the um, semi-informal, which is a mixture of the two, and what we like to call elegant casual. So in terms of those three, you will be notified um, on your cruise which uh, attire is appropriate for which restaurants. But we also have the informal, as I've mentioned. So if your customers wish to just dress down for one evening, we have the buffy style areas, we have the room service and separate areas as well so you can go as how you wish but it is really nice to dress up for a couple of nights whilst absolutely. you're on board isn't absolutely it? absolutely it's very elegant and that is truly the heartbeat of the ship and the thrill of cruising with Cunard well let's head back on board Queen Elizabeth now and Polly Winder is getting a taste of the five-star enrichment and entertainment 
This is the sports deck, which is quite unique to Cunard. You can enjoy a spot of tennis, some short mat bowls, or perhaps a bit of croquet. The Garden Lounge is a lovely, light and sociable space, reminiscent of a resplendent conservatory. It's a wonderfully atmospheric venue where you can enjoy the Supper Club to combine dining and dancing under the stars. This is the Royal Spa on board the Queen Elizabeth and it truly is impressive with everything you could possibly need for rest relaxation and pampering hair there's an amazing hair salon where you can get everything you could want done or perhaps something just a bit special for one of the formal evenings a gym with fantastic exercise classes and programs to keep fit and healthy while we're at sea lovely treatment rooms for some pampering maybe get your nails done and have a little bit of a treat a thermal suite which is something very very different and impressive and here we are in the hydrotherapy suite there's everything on board you could possibly need. This spa is five star and the best spa I've seen on a ship in a long time. Now, I'm really impressed with this. Queen Elizabeth houses the most fabulous library I've ever come across on a cruise ship. If you want to read up on your next destination or just enjoy a good read, there's something for everyone's taste. I think I even spot an E.L. James novel. The selection of onboard shopping is amazing. There's clothes, handbags, fragrance, jewellery, everything you could need, even a Fortnum and Basin here on board. And everything's in dollars, so depending on the exchange rate, you might save a penny or two. Now, I have seen some amazing designer sunglasses, so I'm off to treat myself. The Cunarder's Gallery is another impressive venue on board the ship. It's the place to gaze at some magnificent works of art, including a selection of the famous faces that have travelled on iconic Cunard liners. And when it comes to the evening entertainment, here in the Royal Court Theatre, where you can enjoy a West End style show and perhaps you'd like to do it in style in one of these fabulous boxes. Well, that can be arranged. Imagine watching the show sipping a nice glass of chilled champagne. Ooh, while you're thinking about that, let's go and meet the entertainment director on board, Amanda Reid. Queen Elizabeth came into service in October 2010 after she was uh, named by Her Majesty the Queen. So we ha got off to a, a very wonderful start um, with this particular ship. And uh, she continues that, that long tradition of the Cunard ships. Um, Queen Elizabeth is a, a sort of very art deco in its feel, in its d interior design. Um, but she does reflect on all the old ships of the past as well. So it has a lovely modern feel, but it also has a, a great history as well. We have fantastic production shows in this theatre um, with uh, dancers, singers, actors. Um, and we have wonderful headline entertainers. And there are shows every night in the theatre. Um, we have plays as well um, and classical concerts. We have a wonderful ballroom as well on Queen Elizabeth because um, our musical programme is very important to Cunard so uh, we support the live music uh, and all different styles of live music and ballroom dancing is uh, one of those styles that we love as well. This is the Queen's Ballroom and the day activities take place here, such as fencing in the afternoons. It's laid up for afternoon tea in the evenings. Well, there's music, entertainment and, of course, on formal nights, there's grand balls. The Golden Lion Pub is a Cunard favourite. Choose from a wide selection of beer, cider and wine to complement delicious gastro-pub-style lunch menus in a comfortable traditional setting. And the evening doesn't have to end there for those of you who want to enjoy some live music, a few drinks and some dancing into the small hours. Well, the place to do it is here, the Yacht Club. Queen Elizabeth is this week voyaging on a 12-night Greek Isle and an Aegean Treasures itinerary, taking in Greece, Turkey, Croatia and Italy. Steve, where else can we sail to with Cunard? 
literally anywhere, whether it be the short breaks for those customers looking for a two, three, four night break where we can get you to Paris or Bruges. For those customers also, we can get you further afield if you're looking to do the Norwegian fjords or even the Mediterranean program right through to the full world circumnavigation where we can literally cruise around the world from Southampton to Southampton for 112 nights. And you just mentioned the world cruises there. I believe that 2014 are now on sale. Absolutely, and we have some fantastic voyages available right now. What can we expect to, where can we expect to go to in 2014? The World Voyages, we have an extensive itinerary full of the exotic programme and it truly is worldwide. So you can visit places that you're familiar with and some that you aren't. So new for this year, we have places such as Hong Kong, we have Vietnam in there as well. We also have Sydney, Australia, you name it, it's probably on the itinerary somewhere. And the good thing about Cunard is with all ships being based in Southampton, mm. there's of course no luggage restrictions. Absolutely. What absolutely. other benefits have we got from sailing with Southampton? You've mentioned a key one there, there's absolutely no luggage restrictions, there's no time delay so you don't have to worry about the flight delays of course there. A beauty for me, per cruising personally, is there's no jet lag of course, obviously, so cruising a full round world cruise or whether it be just a short cruise in and out of Southampton, as we've mentioned, no luggage restrictions, no weights, no hassle and no jet lag. And of course one of the iconic things to do is go on a traditional transatlantic cruise between Southampton and New York. Mm. You tell us a bit more about those. They are truly fantastic and what better way to cruise than actually to sail into New York past the Statue of Liberty. The only thing that could possibly eclipse it is possibly cruising out of them. We offer these aboard the Queen Mary 2 at exceptional value as well. For any customers who are wishing to stay in New York, whether it be for a two, three night hotel stay, we fully accommodate those people as well. Sounds great. And when we're on our world cruise or maybe uh, going across the transatlantic, what can we expect activities to do on board? There's a wealth of activities both during the day and of an evening. So throughout the day we have many obviously the dining facilities, we have the many bar facilities, we have state-of-the-art spa facilities as well, we have the 3D cinemas, the planetariums. For those customers wishing to be more relaxed who just want to lie by the pool they're fully catered for. And as we move into the evening we have everything from the casinos to state-of-the-art nightclubs through to the more traditional elements like ballroom dancing. And also in the evening, have you got you know West End style shows we Absolutely. can look forward to? Absolutely. So we typically have two West End style shows. We have our own productions in-house, as I've already mentioned. So for those customers who are wishing to see a show or just be a little bit more relaxed and see an individual artist, they are well catered for. And also one final thing, when you're on holiday, you want to stay fit. What about the sport facilities on board? Absolutely. Yeah. For those people who wish to stay fit, we have uh, state-of-the-art gym facilities, which are all complimentary to use. We also have fitness classes, which our customers can enroll for when they embark as well. Well, National Cruise Week continues throughout the week here on the Holiday and Cruise Channel. And if you've missed one of our tea break specials, just head online to our website at www.holidayandcruisechannel.co.uk where you can watch them again in full. My thanks to Stephen Taylor from Cunard and thanks to you for watching. I'll see you soon.